today is first episode for the second season. I'm Mark and welcome to MNC, MMMGlobal.World's Mavro News Channel. In this week's episode, we will have a short look back on what happened to MMM in the last couple of years. Next, we have a special feature about MMMGlobal.World, an organization that is continuing the visions of Sergei Mavrodi. We will also know the innovations they have set in place to continue the founder's legacy. Emil San Juan will be with us as well to share his perspective on timely topics on his Just My Opinion. And before we end, we will hear testimonies from people whose lives were changed because of MMM. All this when we return. In the last couple of years, we have witnessed how the MMM community spread like a wildfire around the globe, changing many lives of people in a positive way. Despite that, the community has also gained ardent detractors, people and institutions whose own systems and beliefs are being undermined by MMM's simple ideology, that of changing the world with a mutual aid community. Challenges within the community also arose, and it climaxed with a sad news, the death of MM's founder, Sergei Mavrodi, on March 26th of this year. Join us as we take a short look on these past events. A house divided against itself cannot stand. It's a biblical verse more famously attributed to President Abraham Lincoln. And this was proven true with MMM internal struggle with administrators were not known to the community members while Ma Brody was alive. But this has surfaced with his death this year. MMM closed, causing the community to go into further disarray. Deferring information from different camps, each claiming to be the continuation of the real MMM came out after. They set up cryptocurrencies and groups, some even claiming that they have the help of the late founder's brother, Vyashalev Mavrodi. But their claims had been proven to be all empty. None of them really cared of continuing the MMM tradition. All they wanted to do was to use the ideals of the community to scam people of their hard-earned money. While this was unfolding, some former MMM administrators and guiders were silently working on the background. They attempted to recover all domains of the closed MMM but was only successful with some web pages. This setback did not stop them, though, from moving forward. Their goal was to pick up the banner of the MMM and continue implementing the ideas of Sergei Mavrodi by creating an honest global mutual aid fund, deprived all of restrictions and theft of the administration. They used their time well by consulting old community members on what innovations could be implemented. They wanted a classic MMM that everyone understands but one of that is more autonomous, in which greedy admins cannot manipulate at their whims. Before July ended, they were able to establish the new homepage. A chat group using the Telegram app followed later. And soon enough, on October 7th of this year, MMMGlobal.World was officially open. You may ask, how is MMMGlobal.World any different from the old MMM? The look and feel of the system, processes, and most terminologies are almost the same. MMMGlobal.World has remained true in saying that they will design it as close as possible to the old system so that members can set up their account easily and navigate it without problems. In terms of organization and administration, old MMM was divided into countries that created a need for many administrators and assistants. This entailed more operational costs and significant embezzlement of funds. The system was also managed manually by the CRO or the Department of Inspections making it open to manipulation. In MMMGlobal.World, all members are under one organization, thus requiring a leaner administration team operating at lesser cost. Also, everything is managed by an autonomous artificial intelligence called Johnny Mnemonic. This innovation ensures 
that participants are protected from system manipulators and that the operations of the system is more efficient. As for Mavro growth, MMM Global that world made it at 15% initially and will slowly increase it without sacrificing sustainability. The main provide help also stops growing after 60 days, unlike in old MMM. With this, members will be encouraged to withdraw their pH and redonate it if they want to earn donation bonus again, thereby making the system more dynamic. MMMglobal.com also limited the currency use into cryptocurrencies. For now, Bitcoin is the only one accepted, but soon they plan to include other more known cryptos. Unlike the old MMM where local currencies were allowed, members of MMMglobal.com are assured that they are free from the claws of greedy bankers who can influence media and regulating bodies to demonize MMM as illegal. Also, cryptos are decentralized and convenient to use 24-7. In terms of the donation exchange processes, MMMglobal.world is more convenient than that of the old MMM. They did not impose limit on the pH amount for one. There is still a maximum time to send donation though as it was in the old MMM but this time no moratorium exists since financial functions are now governed by Johnny Mnemonic. Uploading proof of provided help and waiting for the recipient to manually confirm receipt of it is already a thing of the past as the AI now automatically confirms the donation once the transaction is completed in the blockchain. And lastly, MMMglobal.world has simplified the complex bonus structure of the old MMM. They have combined all the bonuses into one called the Differential Bonus System, which is calculated weekly. In our coming episodes, we will go into specifics on how the bonus is calculated. So with these innovations in place, don't you think this is the best time to be part of the MMMglobal.world community? Good morning everyone! Today is another brand new day to celebrate life. My name is Emil and welcome to Just My Opinion. Our episode for this week is really special. It is because we've been off for a few months and today we're finally back again to give you news and updates about happenings on MMM. We all knew that uh, because of Sergei Mavrodi's death last March, the whole community mourns eventually became silent. Most of us felt and thought that it may be the end for the system of MMM. Well, I think that's normal since Mam Brody became the icon of MMM itself and it became his life work until his very last day. That's why it's obvious that the founder's death became one of the biggest blow for the community as a whole. I still remember one of our uh, segments where we tackled the ability of MMM community to, sur to survive even if Mam Brody is dead. Some people said MMM will cease to exist if that will happen and some said the opposite, uh, opposite thing that MMM will still survive even when Brody is not around. So judging up to this point, I think the optimist won. Because up until today, uh, MMM is uh, still alive and keeps on thriving all around the world. The launch of MMM World became its proof. The ideology created by Mavrodi for the MMM community still lives on. It's like his ideals and beliefs was passed on to people. Um, the will to make a change and help everyone is, is still there. MMM became strong not because it's been around for decades, but because the ideology of having a fair financial system is already instilled onto the people who followed him. In fact, I saw a lot of uh, copycat systems trying to imitate, uh, imitate MMM, which is a clear indication that Mavrodi's ideology is already within the heart of millions of people. Maybe in the future, I will no longer be surprised if there will be hundreds to thousands of communities trying to fight the current system of money just like what MMM does. But one thing I am sure is that MMM will innovate and will still improve on the years to come so that it can achieve the ultimate goal of having a fair financial system for everyone. Abroad's death may be a great loss for the community, but I think the biggest part of MMM's success still lies in the hands of the participants. He lighted a torch of hope with the purpose of creating a fair financial system. And now that he's gone, it all depends on us to keep that light shining. Mavrodi left us with his legacy in principle because he wanted to free humanity from being slaves of this unjust financial system. 
but at the end or at the end of the day it will rely on our personal decision we have the freedom if we want to keep the legacy or just discard it but one thing is for sure today there are people who will always believe that MMM is uh, in what MMM is fighting for there will always be people who will support uh, it that's why it will never die when MMM world face challenges in the future sure it will there is no such thing as perfect system but you see it only makes MMM community strong and revolutionary it serves like building blocks for better reinforcement uh, reinforcement it also makes your journey to MMM more exciting that's it for this week I will see you again next week don't forget to share this video and give us your feedback my name is Emil and remember that everything that I said in this video is just my opinion have a great day and bye bye Приветствую вас, дорогие друзья! Меня зовут Роман, я являюсь приверженцем системы МММ MMM с 2012 года. Постоянно в ней участвую, наблюдаю. Закончил в 2015 году в МММ MMM Global в биткоине онлайн-школу руководителей. Имею сертификат, который вы сейчас в настоящий момент видите. И сейчас хотел бы вам продемонстрировать новую автоматизированную МММ Глобал на биткоине, который работает по всему миру, которая видоизменилась, появились новые бонусы, новые личные кабинеты. Сайт остался, конечно, прежний, но система стала полностью автоматизированной. Ушли в прошлое такие структуры, как Chrome, структура администрации ушла, то есть система сейчас полностью автоматизирована, работает прекрасно, стартовала она только буквально неделю назад от записи данного видео и я хотел бы вам провести краткий обзор сайта и нового личного кабинета итак сайт практически остался тот же что у нас поменялось у нас добавились форум в раздел форума telegram есть чат как международный так и русский все будет в описании данного ролика также будут мои контакты кто хочет регистрируйтесь по моей ссылке также появились новые бонусы это есть бонус за вклад дифференциальный бонус и командный бонус также тарифы в настоящий момент это 15 процентов рост в месяц все правила все изменения вы можете почитать есть контакты вы можете написать вам если вам что-то непонятно или ваш руководитель гайдер который вас пригласил вам не отвечает то вы можете написать контакты также вы можете выбрать язык который вам необходим чтобы изучать сайт итак я вхожу в систему ммм свой личный новый кабинет нажимаю войти в ммм и захожу в свой личный кабинет личный кабинет английский язык Thank you for watching our first episode for Season 2. I am Mark and this is MNC, MMMGlobal.World's Mavro News Channel. Always remember, with MMM we can do more together. We are changing the world.